Hi everyone, welcome back. So the very first load balancer is classic load balancer that is CLB. It is suitable for simple use cases where you need basic load balancing features. It operates at both the application and transport layer. So if you do not understand what is the application, transport layer, etc. I have created another playlist in which I have described the seven layers of OSI model. I would suggest please check that. It can balance HTTP, HTTPS traffic and TCP traffic. Designed to distribute incoming application traffic across multiple EC2 instances. Layer 4 which is TCP and SSL. CLB can distribute traffic based on IP protocol and TCP port. And layer 7 which is HTTP or HTTPS. CLB can distribute traffic based on HTTP header and URL paths that we will see. Perform periodic health check on registered instances to ensure that traffic is only routed to healthy instances. If an instance fails healthy check it is temporarily removed from the pool of available instances. It supports sticky session, session affinity which allow a user session to be cons consistently routed to the same instance. So, so for example if there are different EC2 instance and uh, it's a, the, we need a sticky session so all requests coming from the same session same IP address will be served from the same EC2 instance irrespective if other EC2 instance are free or not. This can be useful for application that maintain session state locally. Distributes incoming traffic using a round robin or least connection algorithm. I will describe what is round robin and least connection maybe in another video but does not support advanced routing features like URL path based routing or host based routing. These features are available in ALB that is application load balancer. We will see in the next video. Can integrate with other AWS services such as auto scaling. AWS recommends using the newer type of load balancer. So this is not the, the new one. So there are other better options are available such as application load balancer ALB or network load balancer NLB for more advanced features and better performance. So this is not usually recommended. So better options are available. And this is uh, usually how it works like I explained earlier. So this is classic load balancer uh, user. We will have the users. Users are sending request this load balancer will decide which EC2 instance is free and then will just route that request to that, to that instance and that instance will serve the response. That's it in this video. Thank you so much for watching.